Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be doing a video with a relatively new mod called Atlantis. This is a really cool mod that adds in a new basically underwater dimension to Minecraft. Something that I, I think is kind of a unique idea. So we're going to be going over that in this video. It adds in a few custom blocks as well and seems to be updated quite frequently and has more stuff coming. So that's what I like to see. So nevertheless, this is going to be a really, really cool mod. And as you can see, it is actually a good mod to pair with the Endless Ocean Adventures mod. But today we're just going to be installing Atlantis. Atlantis. Nevertheless, though, we first have to cover our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, there's no other place to look than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, you're not here to get a server, you're here to get the Atlantis mod. So let's go ahead and add an underwater dimension to Minecraft. To do that, we want to go to the second link down below and that's going to take us here this is the atlantis official mod page we want to come over here to the right hand side scroll down until we find minecraft 1.16 and then under that we will find atlantis the most important thing is that this is the Forge version, so make sure you hover over the version and make sure it says Forge at the end. If it does, click on the orange download button to the right of that version. That's going to go ahead and after a few seconds, start the Atlantis download. We will need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. As you can see in the bottom left here, we do have Atlantis on Google Chrome where we need to keep it. Almost if Firefox, you would need to save it in the side of your screen. And we're not downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge, which you can find linked as the third link down below. That's going to take you to our official Forge tutorial here, but for the purpose of this video, just go ahead and scroll down until you see this green download Forge button and click on that. If we do go too fast for Forge though, that tutorial can help you out. Once you're on the Forge's official website by clicking that download button on our website, we want to make sure that it says MC 1.16.5 here. And as you can see, it does, so we would be good to go. But if it doesn't, come over here to the left hand side, make sure 1.16 is selected, and then click on 1.16.5. Then come under Download Latest and click on Installer, where it will take you off to add focus. Stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page at all. Stop! Hold up, slow down. What you want to do once you're on this page is click the red skip button in the top right. That is the only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. Once you click the red skip button in the top right, which will appear after about 10 seconds, it will go ahead and download Forge in the bottom left on Google Chrome. As long as it says Forge in the title, which it does, you're good to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. It's 100% safe to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop, we have the Atlantis mod and the Forge mod, or not mod, the Forge installer and the Atlantis mod. First off, we're going to start off with Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. However, if you uh, don't have Java here, or your files look different than mine, they look weird, here's what you want to do. Go to the description down below and go through this tutorial. This is our in-depth tutorial for getting Java for Minecraft mods. It kind of goes through everything you need to know to get Java set up and running for your Minecraft mod. So be sure to check that out. Go through this simple three-step tutorial, and then you should be able to open up Forge. However, if you're still having issues with Forge, or if your files just don't look correct, you want to run the jar fix. There's also links in the description down below. What this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, right like so, making them work perfectly and humorously together. Now, though, that we have Java, we're going to continue off the tutorial by right clicking on Forge, clicking on Open With, selecting Java, and clicking OK. That's then going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where we just want to click Install Client and click OK. It's then going to download, install, set some things up, make some things work, basically get it to where Forge is installed for 1.16.5, right? So we're just sitting here waiting, and there we go. So go to Install Client Profile Forge, click OK, and it will close out of the mod installer. You can add Delete Forge from your desktop, you don't need it anymore, but we do need to keep the Atlantis mod. Now let's go ahead and get Atlantis installed. The first step of that is opening up the Minecraft launcher, and before you hit play, you want to make sure that Forge is the version you're playing. To do that, go ahead and click the little arrow to the left of the play button here, and then select Forge. Now, as long as it says 1.16.5-Forge under it, you're good to click play, click play again. However, if it doesn't say that, you want to go to the installations up here at the top, and we want to make sure that the modded button is ticked right up here. If modded is ticked and there is no Forge, or you don't have 1.16.5-Forge for Forge, you want to click on New Installation. In the new installation, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm going to name it that because that's our own incredible 1.16.5 grief protected server. Over there, you will find aquatic survival with an awesome slash shop based economy and amazing PvP, and a medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy. And then we also have Skyblock with custom challenges, amazing rewards, custom storylines, custom minions. It's amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, the most important part of all of this, though, is clicking on this drop down box here and then finding at least 1.16.5 forge. Mine's up here at the top. You 
have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right here. I'm also gonna change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but I'm doing it because we're making a video and I want you all to be able to see. Finally, we can click the green create button in the bottom right, and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly though, it says 1.16.5-400. So we can hover over that and click the green play button. Then click that you understand that you're playing modded Minecraft and Mojang's not responsible for anything that happens, and then click the green play button. Now, Minecraft is going to open up. From this point, it's so easy to install Atlantis. We will have to restart Minecraft, unfortunately, but it's super easy to get installed. Then once we get in game, I will show you kind of how to, I'll tell you how you're supposed to get to the Atlantis world, and then I'll tell you how you can kind of get your way there quickly if you don't want to go through all the, the hassle of finding an ocean temple and killing guardians and all that stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So we are in the Minecraft main menu. Once you are here, you want to go ahead and click on the mods tab and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left. That will then open the mods folder here where you want to take the Atlantis mod you downloaded and drag and drop it into the mods folder here. Once Atlantis is in the mods folder, it's not going to appear in Minecraft until you click done and then quit Minecraft. Once once you do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then we want to make sure that the Forge profile is selected, whether that's the one you created or the new one. Click that little drop down box and make sure it is selected here, then click play. Now it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with the Atlantis mod installed. Awesome stuff. We actually see here, we will see, there it is. There is Atlantis kind of recognized by Forge that it is in the mods folder and it is going to open it. So awesome stuff there. Again, we just have to wait. Now, normally I would do it, or I would love to do a jump cut here, but I don't like to do jump cuts here because I like to show you all that there's no trickery, there's no editing, there's nothing like that. It all just works, like without any problems. It all just works. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and let this load on up. Now, one fair warning that I think the developer knows about, but nevertheless, whenever you're on the Minecraft main menu here, normally I would click on mods and then I click on Atlantis. Well, if you click on Atlantis on the mod list, it will crash Minecraft. So the mod author is working on fixing that, but nevertheless, that is a thing. Don't do that. Um, uh, just make sure you know mods tab it's there okay cool now let's go ahead and create a new single player world you can call this whatever you want i'm going to name it atlantis because uh why not and then i'm going to make it creative just because that makes things easier then we're going to go ahead and create a new world i will see you after a quick oh it does going to give you this warning saying you're using experimental world settings that's of course obvious you're using a mod so go ahead and click proceed you're good to go so i'm going to do a quick jump cut and i will meet you once we are in minecraft to get to the atlantis world so here we are in Minecraft. Now, if you wanted to get to this in survival, how you would normally get to the Atlantis world is to find guardian temples and kill three elder guardians. Once you do that and you kill the third one, it is going to allow you to open up a portal to Atlantis. Really, really cool stuff and an awesome system to do that. Except it takes forever to find elder guardians. So what we're gonna do actually is just kind of cheat our way there. I guess not really. There is the orb of Atlantis. I don't know if this is craftable or you know, gettable in game at all. But if we place this down, we can then right click it and go to the world of Atlantis, right? Like so, right? So that's kind of the, the cheat way to get there, if you will. But uh, as you can see, this is truly a full water world. It spawned us up relatively high up in the air, which I'm not too happy about. But nevertheless, as you can see here, we do have custom blocks that are here and custom biomes. It's really, really cool. This, for example, is a custom block, the orange colored shell block. And there is also pearls and all of that stuff. Really, really cool. And there are different sort of biomes. For example, we'll go from this and we might find a, you know, like a coral reef biome. We might find a bunch of these clams in one area. We'll find these different ravines that go down in like deep down. And one of the things that I want to mention here, there are ores in this world. So as you can see, there's iron here. There might be some diamonds down here at the bottom. I found diamonds uh, when testing this mod, but don't know for sure if we're going to be able to find them that easily this time. But nevertheless, there are ores here. So you can actually come here and mine for diamonds. And there, oh, there we go. There is some different quartz, I believe, right? Or is this? No, this was aquamarine ore. So I didn't want to talk about that. This is a custom ore that is added in by the, uh, you know, Atlantis mod. Huge coral biome here. But uh, by the Atlantis mod that you can find and craft things out of and all of that stuff. As you can see, you can get this armor, swords, all of that stuff. But uh, overall, really, really cool mod. Love to see it. Love to see a new worlds being added in. You know, this is, reminds me of Twilight 4 in the beginning stages. So can't wait to see what comes to this mod. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. Enjoy Atlantis, and I'm out. Peace.